My name is Sian Liu. I'm going to introduce an engineering object, escalator. Escalator is a moving staircase which carrying people between floors of buildings. The device consists of a motor driving chain of individuals, link steps that move up or down on tracks, allowing the step stretch to remain horizontal. They have the capacity to move large numbers of people and they can be placed in the same physical space. The operation of escalator is powered by a constant speed, alternating current motors, and the maximum allowed angle to the horizontal is 30 degrees, with a standard rise up to about 18 meters. Escalators are required to have moving handrails that keep pace with the movement of the steps. The direction of movement can be permanently the same or to be controlled by person. There are two platforms in the escalator system. The top platforms contain the motor and the main drive gear, while the bottom holds the step return sprockers. In addition, the platforms contain a floor plate and a compact. The floor plate gives a room for passengers to stand before the step onto the moving stairs. This plate is flush with platforms, and the compact is the pieces between the stationary floor plate and the moving step has a series of clicks that match with the matching clicks on the edge of the steps. This design is necessary to minimize the gap between the stairs and the landing. Modern escalators have single-piece aluminium or steel steps that move on a system of checks in a continuous loop. Checks and charts are combined together in the escalator system. Checks is built into charts to guide the step chain, which continuously pulls the step from bottom platform and back to the top in analyst loop. There are two checks, one for the front views of the steps and one for the back views of the steps. Along the straight section of the charts, the checks are at their maximum distance apart, which forces the back of the one step to be at the right angle relative to the step behind it. This right angle bends the steps into a shape resembling a staircase. Nowadays, we can see some public advertisement of saving energy in underground. We know that at off peak time, the numbers of passengers are much less, so that saving can be done by reducing the use of escalators, like applying automatically switch, which can sense passengers when they step on. It also can be done by slowing down the speed of checks moving. And there is one interesting type rarely seen. It is curved escalator, which requires higher engineering technology to drive the steps fairly upward. Be careful, and that's my introduction of this escalator. Thank you.